Hey, another movie stag. Woo! Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This is, an, this is another movies tag video, or another tag video. If you know my channel pretty well, you know I do a few tags every now and then. I have done two tags now. Two tags now, both have something to do with movies. One was the coffee tag, and one was just the normal movies tag. And now I thought I'd do a third tag called Films by Genres Tag. This tag is very simple. Basically, I answer, qu answer 17 questions, and each question is a genre of film, and basically I have to say, what my favorite film is of that genre and yep that's basically it these questions and say my answer for each of these questions and I'm also going to tag people yes I'm going to tag five people to do to do this tag because you know what tags are fun and you got fun and you got to tag a few people and the five people I'm going to tag to do this movies tag is Marquise Underwood, Steffi C in the cinema, Super Mario Fan 03, Emperor Dude and Ryan O'Toole. Yes, those are the people I'm tagging. I hope to see some video responses for you guys. And yeah, let's get to it. Let's get started. Here's the films by genre movies tag. All right, let's get started. Question number one: favorite action adventure movie. Okay, um, this one I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm going to say my favorite action movie and also my favorite adventure movie. When it comes to action, Die Hard is the greatest action movie of all time. It's fucking Die Hard. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfuckers. It's great. It's Die Hard. It's my favorite action movie. But adventure movie, I'm going with Raiders of the Lost Ark because it's more adventurous. It's more fun. It's more of an enjoyable, even sort of family film because everyone can watch Raiders of the Lost Ark. Die Hard's more of just a hardcore action movie with the guns and explosions and the bloods and the yippee-ki-yay, motherfuckers and stuff. Both amazing action movies. Both my favorite action slash adventure movies and two is animation slash family okay with animation i'm going with my favorite animated movie of all time and that is spirited away written directed by hayu miyazaki this is a movie yes kids can watch but this is more adult themed i guess because more adults seem to like this movie every time i talk about spirited away more adults have seen it than actual children so yeah more adults seem to grasp the japanese animated movies more than the kids but Spirit Away is the greatest animated movie I personally have seen, and yeah, animation-wise, it's my favorite. Now, when it comes to family movies, I like a lot of family movies. I love the Disney's, the Pixar's, and stop-motion animated movies. I love a lot of family movies, but a personal favorite of mine is The Princess Bride. I know a lot of people are like, family? Yes, I, I consider it a family movie because my family personally watched Princess Bride all the time. Like, throughout my childhood, I watched The Princess Bride, and we all watched it as a family. And I think watching The Princess Bride as a family is much cooler and stuff. And I just love The Princess Bride. I love it. It's my favorite Rob Reiner movie. I love all the characters. I love Wesley, Buttercup, Cup. Fezzik, Prince Humperdinck, all the characters are freaking awesome, and yeah, it's The Princess Bride. I, I consider it a family movie. It's a lot of genres. It's comedy, romance, action, adventure, but I also consider it a family movie, and it's the greatest family movie ever. All right, question number three is favorite comedy. Favorite comedy is an easy one. Everyone knows what my favorite comedy is. It's Hot Fuzz. I love the Cornetto trilogy, Shaun of the Dead, World's End, amazing movies. Hot Fuzz is my favorite comedy. And it's my favorite of the Cornetto trilogy. And I just consider it the greatest comedy of all time, personally. Four. This is actually a much harder one. This is favorite dramatic film. There's too many amazing dramas. I was gonna go with Goodwill Hunting, but I'm just gonna say the Before trilogy because again, people just need to see this trilogy before Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, Before Midnight. Amazing movies. Julie Delpy, Ethan Hawke. Amazing. It's my favorite. Our Richard Linklater movies. It's fantastic. I love Boyhood as well, but the Before trilogy is just brilliant. How it's how brilliantly written these movies are. It's fantastic. Yes, it's also romance, but there's another movie I have for the romance genre, so for drama, before trilogy. Question 5 is favorite fantasy movie. This is easy. The entire Lord of the Rings trilogy, Fellowship of the Rain, Two Towers, Return of the King, all amazing. Fellowship is a personal favorite of mine, but they are all one big movie, basically. That's what I consider Lord of the Rings. It's just one huge movie, and it's fantastic. Peter Jackson's direction is absolutely top-notch. It's fantastic. I love these movies. Everyone loves these movies. They're Academy Award-winning movies, and it's Lord of the Rings. Come on. Okay, question number six is favorite musical. I love a lot of musicals, too. The Sound of Music, Sweeney Todd. Love musicals. Mary Poppins is my favorite musical. Julie Andrews, Dick Van Dyke. Come on. The songs are amazing. Come on. Spoonful of sugar. Let's go fly a kite. All the songs are fantastic in Mary Poppins. It's my favorite live-action Disney movie, but it's also my favorite musical. 
7 is favorite romance movie. Um, again, I wanted to go with the Before Trilogy, but Casablanca is the better movie, and it's like one of my favorite movies of all time. So Casablanca is the greatest romantic movie ever. Come on, Humphrey Bogart, Paul Henry, uh, uh, Claude Rains, Ingrid Bergman is fantastic. Michael Curtis's direction is brilliant. How this movie is shot, edited, and just how it's directed, it's amazingly well done amazingly crafted. Everything about this movie is just fantastic. I love it. I love the characters. I love the story. I love the performances. I even love the ending. The ending to this movie is so brilliant. Come on, Louis, this is the start of a beautiful friendship. And Humphrey Bogart is just amazing. He should have won an Oscar. I think he was nominated, but he should have won an Oscar for playing Rick Blaine because that is his best character. And it's any Humphrey Bogart movie. And this movie is just brilliant. It's almost a damn near perfect film. It's one of my favorites of all time. And it's my favorite romance movie. Number eight is favorite mystery slash crime movie. I went with my favorite David Fincher movie, and that is Seven. A very unlikely duo that I absolutely loved. Uh, uh, Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt, both amazing. Kevin Spacey as John Doe is fantastic. Gwyneth Paltrow so good. I love the mystery. I love the neo-noir feel. I love how dark and gritty it is, and I love how this movie is paced and written. This is my favorite David Fincher movie. I love Zodiac. I love Fight Club. I love Gone Girl, The Game. And those are all great mystery thrillers too, but this is his masterpiece. Question 9 is favorite sci-fi movie. This is easy. Blade Runner, favorite movie of all time. You all know this. Question 10 is favorite thriller. Thriller, I went with Alfred Hitchcock's Rare Window. This is my favorite Hitchcock movie. I know a lot of people say Psycho is their favorite, and I totally get it. Psycho is amazing. It's an incredible film. That shower scene is scary as shit. Still to this day is scary as shit, but Rare Window is my personal favorite Hitchcock movie. I freaking love it. I love how it's directed and shot, and I love Grace Kelly, and I love Jimmy Stewart in this movie, and I love how thrilling, I love the edge, and I love the tension in this movie, and Everything about this movie is just incredible. I love that it's all in one location. It just makes it all the more claustrophobic and all the more thrilling. And it's just my favorite thriller of all time. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Love Rare Window. Question 11 is favorite teen slash high school movie. I went with Fast Times at Richmond High. Love that movie. Next is question 12, which is favorite chick flick. Uh, I did a top 10 favorite chick flicks, and yeah, check that video out. But I'm going to just say When Harry Met Sally. I love When Harry Met Sally. Another movie directed by Rob Reiner, Billy Crystal, Meg Ryan, both have amazing chemistry. Yes, the whole point of the movie is that men and women can't be friends. I don't know if that's true or not, but I love this movie. I love the comedy. I'm a big Billy Crystal fan, so of course he's hilarious in this movie. It's great. The diner scene, and come on, I'll have what she's having. It's hilarious, classic iconic. Everything about this movie is great, and the chemistry between these two leads is fantastic. Love What Harry Met Sally, one of the greatest chick flicks ever. That and the Before Trilogy. This is question 13, which is favorite superhero movie, and of course that is, Oh no, we're an off you birds. It's The Dark Knight. I love The Dark Knight. It's my favorite Christopher Nolan movie, favorite comic book movie, one of my favorite movies of all time, one of my favorite movies of this decade, or last decade, sorry, 2008. Yes, I love this movie. It's so good. Christian Bale, Heath Ledger stole the role as, as the Joker. Yes, Jared Leto could possibly do good in Suicide Squad. Who the hell knows? But Heath Ledger made it, made it his own role, and he's fantastic. He's scary and it's amazing. This movie is fantastic. It's the greatest comic book movie and greatest superhero movie I've ever seen. 14 is favorite martial arts movie. I could have went with a lot of Jackie Chan movies because I grew up with a lot of Jackie Chan movies like The Legend of the Drunken Master and Super Cop and stuff, but my, but my favorite martial arts movies actually are pretty, pretty recent ones and that is The Raid Redemption and The Raid 2. They're both amazing movies. When it comes to action, I think The Raid Redemption is non-stop and that's why it has better action, but The Raid 2 is a more compelling story and it's got some gruesome shit. But both make two amazing Amazing movie, so freaking good. Gareth Evans' direction is fantastic. The martial arts in this movie are absolutely brilliant and stunning. And E.K. Lewis is fantastic as Rambo. I love the character, and I I hope they make a trilogy like a Raid Three because these movies are just amazing movies and probably the best martial art movies I've ever seen. 
question 15, which is favorite horror movie. I did a top 10 best and worst horror movie, so go check those top 10 lists out. But I'm just going to say John Carpenter's The Thing because people need to see that movie. It's the best John Carpenter movie, and that's saying a lot because John Carpenter has directed amazing movies like Escape from New York, uh, Big Trouble in Little China, Halloween. But The Thing is his best movie. And yes, The Thing from Another World is a classic movie. And that stupid prequel or reboot movie sucked ass, but this movie is fantastic. 1982, the greatest year of cinema. I love this movie. Kurt Russell is fantastic in this movie. So is Keith David. I love it. I love the practical effects. It's amazing. It's scary as shit. It's gross. It's gruesome. And it's just amazing. And it's also very thought-provoking. And yeah, The Thing is one of my favorite horror movies. It's so good. 16 is favorite war slash historical movie. I went with Joyce Noel, which is also sort of a Christmas movie, but I love that movie. People just need to watch that movie more. That and Platoon, directed by Oliver Stone, two amazing war movies, both very different, but also both very realistic and pretty gritty in their own ways. And they're both two movies people should watch, but most people have seen Platoon, so go see Joyce Noel. People need to people need to watch that movie more because because it's kind of underrated. Finally, the last question, question 17, is favorite foreign movie. That is, of course, the brilliant Pan's Labyrinth, directed by Guillermo del Toro. It's fantastic. I love it. It's in Spanish, yes, Spanish, and it's filmed and takes place during World War II, I think. I could be wrong, but yeah, it's a brilliant movie. Amazing performances, amazing practical effects. The creatures look fantastic. Doug Jones is so good in this movie. It is not a kid's movie. I know some people like to think it's a kid's movie, but I made the mistake thinking it was a kid's movie. Seeing it as a kid, it's not a kid's movie, but it is an amazing foreign fantasy movie, but it's amazing. Pan's Labyrinth, awesome. So yeah, that was the Films by Genre tag, so I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope I see some video responses from all the people I tagged. And also in the comment section below, please tell me what are your answers to all these questions. I'm curious to know your answers and your opinions. Answers and your opinions, let me know in the comment section below. Comment below, let me know. And as always, your latest video, please like and subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.